Hi, I'm Billy Bailey here at the Florida Cavern State Park. The tree that I want to tell you about today is the sassafras tree. Everyone has heard of the sassafras tree. You know, there's only a few types of sassafras tree that occur worldwide. Only three, actually, um, living species and one extinct. The sassafras tree has a very long and interesting history worldwide. Did you know here in the United States, Native Americans used it for thousands and thousands of years? For many reasons. The root and the bark of this was made into a tea for its relaxing effects. It also is a natural antiseptic and the leaves were used to treat wounds. And also, if you've ever heard of a sassafras toothbrush, I will show you how to make one of those. You cut a piece about this big. And the reason it was used as a toothbrush is a couple of reasons. Number one, it has a, a pleasant licorice type smell and flavor to it. And of course, it was an early source of root beer for many, many years. Uh, the flavor, but also it produces a little bit of a sap right here that acts as a toothpaste and it's a natural antiseptic. So the smell, the flavor, and being an antiseptic is the reason that it was used for an early toothbrush. But you take a piece about this big and then you come about an inch back. Okay, you get that. And then you make a few cuts in it, about a half inch deep or so, splitting it apart. Okay, and then you kind of bend it a little bit and it sort of makes bristles. No. There you go, nature's toothbrush.